Mac or Nate Euromastics are about to get an enclosure upgrade. My friends over at Redline Science actually sent me their new biotope cages. I couldn't be more excited about that. Can't wait to open this up and see what this thing looks like. This looks super fancy. It's got arrows. I'm not exactly sure what the arrows are for. I have a feeling that it's probably for someone like me that doesn't read directions. And I hear that these things go together literally within just a few minutes. Looks like the arrows are going away. Ooh, look at that. So satisfying. And the interesting thing is there's a black side and there's a white side. Looks like we have some fancy Redline Science stickers. Those are always good for my computer. Oh, and you get a little free scraper in every box too. These are really great for cleaning and closing. So there's directions right here. You just hit this QR code. It takes you right to directions, but you know what? I don't need directions. Let's put this together. screw it all together. But the thing that I love about this enclosure is the fact that if you don't want black on the inside, all you have to do is, and then you have a white enclosure, but I personally want a black one. Now all I have to do is screw it together and the fun begins. Just a handful of screws and it's all put together. Now you can screw on the top, but I'm actually gonna take the top off because I wanna use this to do the universal rock in here. I wanna be able to get to it from behind. It's pretty cool that it's completely together with just a handful of screws. Gotta take some measurements. And here comes the fun part, which is kind of the artworks, right? You gotta see how it's gonna fit in here. Gotta kind of bend it around. Might have to cut it again because it may not work exactly the way I want it to. Manipulate this the best you can. While well, Daddy Doo Doo's building that cage, we have to do his job and pull some eggs. You ever pulled any eggs before? I've never pulled any eggs before. So let's start out with this Tyranese beauty stick. That's not what it is, is it? No. What is it? Thyroid. 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 The snake is inside of the eggs. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Dude, you gotta be gentle. I haven't even done anything. Wow. Dude, look at, look at the eggs. Do we get the snake out first or do we just grab the egg? Move the snake, pick it up, be like, wow, look at her, she's so good. And then you put the eggs in the egg box. All right, so we're gonna pick Mama up nice and gentle. See, Mama looks, she's actually not that big for that many eggs. That's impressive. I'm not gonna lie, how did, I don't know how girls do that. Three, whole box. six, nine, ten, eleven eggs. That's 11 a lot eggs. of eggs for and that. We'll get her some water and stuff in a minute. Okay, I can't see. Oh, Jane. my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm okay, trying to get so there's the, the ring so that has to go up. Right Hopefully. There. I know, I see it on the vlog. Oh, wait, what's this? We gotta keep track of uh, what laid. Do I have to put what the mail through, right? Oh, I guess corn snow, you just put the same. Oh, look, it even laid a date early. I think the zero on the bottom is supposed to be slugs, so I'm just gonna go 11 over zero. And if that isn't the most scientific thing you don't ever see us do, it's a loose. So What's a loose? Huh? What's loose? Oh, not loose, loose. Hello? Dude, I'm filming, what do you want? You leaving the back door unlocked? Say hi to the vlog. What's up, vlog? I literally have a contact name, it's Dumb Dog. <laughs> Next up is just foaming this all in. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp these on once I'm done. I'm gonna fill all this area up with foam so that the animals can't get behind it. And this stuff expands and it also adheres. So the backdrop will be adhered to this really tight so that nothing can get behind it. You're doing a great job with that foam. Yeah. <laughs> Now we just have to let this dry. Look how bar Jack's doing work. Just look at it, it's absolutely amazing. You talking trash? I'll tell my daddy, he'll be fired in a matter of seconds. The great stuff foam is all cured up and now I have to just come and kind of clean it up a little bit and then we'll actually seam it out and make this actually look really, really cool. <laughs> We gotta get our little containers. Hurry up. He's so slow. Dude, the eggs are gonna go bad if you keep taking this long. How many screws again? Then you spit on it. Remember from yeah, last yeah. time? Oh, the first. Oh. Same. Oh. Difference, really. talking to the snake, dude. 
Yeah, that's your woman. What is wrong with you? Still in your heart? <laughs> oh, it's normal het ghost. But het that's ghost cool. bred do something. There are a handful of slugs. Oh, uh, no, mom. Well, we don't want the slugs. We're going to have to candle that one. Those are some big eggs. Probably move, that one's loose. So we're going to move that right there. Move mama. You know, that came out of the tushi. There. And we have three slugs, which we can feed to our monitors. And we're gonna put her back. And Maria can clean her up later. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight good eggs and three slugs. That's 11 eggs total, three bad ones. It's getting better at math. Oh, I did do that right How do you see in these eggs? You have to spin. Right there. Show the veins. See the little black spot? That's what we need up top. There. I think so. No, I know so. Personally, he taught you personally? That one goes right there. I don't know about that one. Right there, yeah, yeah. See the yogi right the ukulele. The ukulele, yeah. Okay, time to mark some stuff. And then we stick that right on the cage so Maria knows to clean it. And uh, we're done. Next thing we have to put silicone on here. Just loop it on, nothing really fancy at all. All the way up the seam, all the way over. And then this is how we'll actually make this blend in and look absolutely amazing. Then we just take this dust right here and we just seam it in. All the way up, it's like magic. See how that seam just basically now molds right into the enclosure. And then we just do it around the rest of all of the seams. Apricot Pueblin. Apricot. Apricot? Apricot. Apricot. What's the aper? A-P-R. Apri. Aper. This lizard gave snakes today, so we're gonna pull the eggs. That's a snake. A snake is just a lizard without legs. No, it's not. That's just a legless. Oh man, we're not gonna get into this debate right now. It was an apricot Pueblin. <laughs> Some that. other Pueblin, probably. Can we just admire these real quick? Wait, can I hold them? I've never held fresh eggs. I don't, I don't know. What? I'm supposed to help pull eggs. You can touch that one. I don't know if this one rolled or not. Yeah, that's okay. You can touch that one. Look sure. at how beautiful these eggs are. These are literally made. Oh. All right, dude. You got to be gentle if you touch these. Two, yeah. four, six, eight, ten. Ten eggs. The female laid the eggs. Probably. Well, who, who hot with her? You know? Maybe it was both. Maybe they had a... Oh, it's Fun cool. Club. Anacondas do that, too. It doesn't say, so I'm just going to let your dad figure it out. I wouldn't do that. I'll already be real mad at you guys. <laughs> Should we call Lori? Hey, Mike and I are pulling your yep. clutches, which I'm sure you're very thrilled about. <laughs> we're, we're taking over for Mr. Brian because he's doing his other stuff. Poor, poor connection. Can you hear me? Now oh, I can. Now we can. Now I can. The mayo is uh, either Oreo or Halloween, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Above it? Yes. Right that. Okay, right that. Do we you have another one? Yeah, we pulled that one, but it was just a thyroid. 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 Yeah, 11 great eggs, not even a slug. Mike, he does it all, huh? <laughs> yeah, he does it Man all. Man of many trades, you know? Now we have to just let this dry, and then we can actually clean it up and make it look really good. Then we can do some decoration on the inside, and then move the animals in. And speaking of Redline Science, my buddies had sent me over that biotope gate. I have a feeling this box may be from them. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and see what's inside here. What is this? These are actually egg trays. You would put like a perlite or a hatchrite or a vermiculite type of a system down here. And then you actually put the eggs right in here and you can incubate your leopard gecko eggs, your corn snake eggs. You know who's gonna love these is Jessica. This is gonna make her life absolutely wonderful. What else is in here? Oh, we got some little tiny ones. If you have just maybe one or two leopard geckos, these are scrapers to scrape the edge of the cage. Bruce, where are you at? I've got something for you. This is ridiculous because these things are so cool. You know, we use hemostats all the time for feeding. We have green ones, we have white ones. It's like a second delicate trip right here. Red ones, orange ones, perfect for Halloween, feeding an orange snake. These are actually interesting right here. These would be perfect if I needed to clean my teeth because I've seen these at the dentist before. But you would obviously use if you want to really get in like the cracks and crevices of something. These are really cool because you know, I'm not very good when it comes to razor blades. I get cut a lot. So these are actually plastic razor blades that you can scrape and some replacement blades too from Redline Science. That's awesome. So many cool products that are coming out from Redline Science. By the way, I'll put a link in the description to redlinescience.com. Anything that you guys want, if you see any of these cool things, Look at this big bag here. Let's open this up. This looks pretty cool. If you got some real snakes, got some real nice snakes, you're gonna need big, big tongs like this or big tweezers like this. Look at this, how cool is that? 
yeah, I think that's gonna be good for feeding Elvis. This is also a scraper, so that way if you have like a, a longer cage that you can't get into or something like that, you can scrape. You got a small scraper on this side, big scraper on this side, a nice handy carrying case that you can put all this stuff in. You know, I was kind of thinking about the colored thing is kind of cool from a color coordination as well. Let's say that you want, you know, to target train your animal, you could use a specific color so that when they see these tweezers, they'll actually know it's feeding time. You could say, Bruce, you can only use the black things, and then of course Mike can be the white ones, or maybe we have a new quarantine animal that's just coming in, only the red tools. And again, this, I love these oil slick. I think that these ones are gonna be for me. They're the psychedelic oil slick ones. These guys, I think I'm not gonna let anyone use them but me. These are gonna be specifically for Brian. Anyone that keeps snakes needs a good probe kit. I mean, I think when I was like 15, that was one of the first things I ever bought when it came to the reptile world. All right, we've got some black mamba snake hook here. Well, no, these aren't black mamba snake hooks. Maybe baby black mamba snake hooks, but we always need small ones, especially for like the viper boas. And, you know, for anyone that's maybe afraid of a baby ball python. These are really cool, super lightweight. I love these guys. And then take a look at this. Whoop, herpin. I tell you what, Redline Science, thank you so much. This is amazing. Again, redlinescience.com. Mango and what's the other one, papaya? I think it's papaya, yeah. I literally just made that up and it was real. <laughs> wow. Anyways, our cuddling. Papaya's on top. That means our boy Mango's officially bottom. And look who joined us. Speaking of Redline Science, we got Robin Marklin, the actual owner of Redline Science. Yo, he sent boxes and then now he just shows up. Not really, I invited myself. Okay, well, I'm glad that you're here regardless. Biotope cages are absolutely amazing. I mean, what's next? This is kind of a two foot size and next up would be a three foot. A swap out side piece so you can put two cages side by side oh, and have a go between. That's so Whether smart. for breeding or whether you're doing hot stuff. Right. Um, so you can isolate the animals on one one side of the cage, plus you're doubling up the, the usable space. That is so cool. And I love the, just the ease of putting it together. Customize it however you want. This isn't completely done yet, but it will be by the end of the day. Heat tape is under Redline Science now. A bunch of different sizes, three inch, four inch, six inch, 12 inch. Rob and I have been friends for probably 25 years, so it's great to have him on. So who knows what the future has in store, but for now, I'm super happy. I've got a bunch of new toys today. Just have to put the top on, put the glass in, clean it up a little bit and decorate it out and move the lizards in. <laughs> I'm gonna use a millet kind of seed mixture for the bedding because they actually eat this, so it's actually a good bedding and they'll actually eat it on top of that. Mm. Those new or old? Oh, don't okay. mess with my new stuff. Oh, we got new stuff? What are you doing? <laughs> Looking at all the new goodies we just got. Those are my psychedelics. Keep your hands off my psychedelics. This is a collapsible hook. Oh, it's like a whole eight inches now. Put my volcano in here. That way they can get a little closer to the basking light. My water bowl. And I'll have a little hide box in here too. That way they can hide in here as well. And I think that's all they need. And lastly, we get to actually let them loose. They're gonna have all these little crevices to crawl around on. Obviously, they've got their volcano they absolutely love. They can get close to that hot spot that's gonna be about 120 degrees. All these cool things. I can't wait to watch these guys in here. Uh, and I think this video is over. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a Looks amazing. Like, I'm so proud of you. This is so cool. Best ever.